first three moves I've already uploaded to the channel before but um, just wanted to show them to you again I do these before I stretch to warm up my muscles a little bit just to get the uh, juices going a little bit <laughs> You gotta throw in some stretches so a little bit of yoga and stretching uh, right before a leg day not claiming to be a yogi these are just some quick things that I run through before leg day this move feels so good it opens up the hips I absolutely love it I stole these hip openers a long time ago from Elliot Hoss. I absolutely love them. Um, I do them on both leg day and back day to open up my hips before I do deadlifts. With these next moves, you wanna grab a band or a rope or a stretching band or whatever you have available that you can loop around your feet to help you do your stretches. One of my favorites stretches out your quad. I absolutely love the stretch. <laughs> Just a quick snippet of the very last exercise I did today for leg day right before I got on the treadmill. Me a shooting star. Land on you are flying up in a bra. Wish on a star. Time to show them who's in charge. Call me a shooting star.
Foam rolling is so important. If you haven't started doing it yet, do it right away. Get you a foam roller from Walmart. They're super cheap, not expensive. You don't need anything fancy. This right here is just a quick foam rolling session. This is not the only session you should be doing on your foam rolling. In a real session, you would stop on any pain points and then you would keep on going. A real session is a lot slower. Um, I do those at home with a bigger foam roller. So yeah, definitely invest in a foam roller if you haven't yet and search on YouTube for foam rolling videos. a lacrosse ball to sort of foam roll my feet um, you can find videos about this on YouTube basically you go through the middle of your foot or any outside of your you concentrate on any pain points just like foam rolling again this is just quick um, going through it right after my workout but I always do a session at home where I concentrate on getting all the knots and the kinks out I then use a massage ball on my back, upper and lower back, and my upper booty uh, just to get some kinks out of my back um, that the foam roller didn't hit. But my massage ball from the store five below. And of course, we ended with a little more stretching slash yoga.
like comment subscribe and share thanks